Hey guys, Casey here, and I know it's been like some time since I made a video, and that's mainly because my trusty old iMac, which is like from 2010, I think, even though it's like maxed out, it sucks at um, rendering videos, so yeah, I'm not going to get into that, but I got a new one coming, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a lot better. It's got like 8 gigabytes of uh, video card, uh, 32 RAM, SSD, all, all the good stuff that you need for uh, editing 4K and whatnot. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about these guys. These are the, let me see if I can get that, I'm super overexposured right now because I, I just set my lights up however. <laughs> I normally just adjust in the software, but yeah. We're going to be talking about these guys. These are 25 amp uh, ZTW Polaris ESCs. Now, I wanted the 30 amps, but I just couldn't find them anywhere close by enough to get them in time. So I was like, whatever, man. 25 should work. Um, it's going to go on this little guy here. This is a, they call this the H175. Just trying to build a 4 inch racer. And, uh,. <laughs> I got these crazy Cobra Championship motors on here, 2500 kV, so I can't wait to see how that pushes, but I was looking for ESCs that were D-Shock compatible, and you didn't have to do any modification to them, which is like removing the cap or something, and on the GitHub um, like post about this stuff, getting D-Shock 600 to work, um, all the way at the bottom was the ZTW 30 amp ESCs. So I'm like, eh, 25, 30. You know, I would like to have 30, but I just got to stick for what I can take right now. And these were surprisingly cheap. They were like 20, 29 bucks? No, 28 and change. So let's just round it off to 29, free shipping. I bought them two days ago, and they're here already. So I installed one. Um... And it does use the same firmware that is listed on the GitHub web uh, post. D shot, turn it on, beeps five times. I mean, if you guys are looking for ESCs that um that are D shot compatible, and you don't have to do any sort of modification because not everyone is good at soldering or soldering, however you pronounce that word, and you want something that you could just put on there, flash it. Change the uh, protocol in VL Heli, I mean Beta Flight, and go fly. Then I think these will work. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this up with my dollar ninety nine soldering iron. This thing, I um, give me a sec. I picked this up last night. Main reason being is my main soldering iron is busted, and I'm I go through soldering irons like. Like it's nobody's business. And I found these at a Chinese dollar store last night because Walmart didn't have any good soldering irons. Um, Home Depot didn't have any good soldering irons. There's no Radio Shack. There's nothing out here where I live, Long Island, that has any good soldering irons. And it was late. It was like 9 o'clock. So I, I was like, I need to do this build. I need to finish it. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, <clears throat> I was Googling a bunch about these. And I, I couldn't find anything. The only place I actually saw them was on the GitHub post. About like what you see to use. So that's why I made this video. Just help out. If, I mean, yeah. We're always looking for cheap stuff, right? And, uh. These for 29 bucks, you get four 25 amp PSCs. I mean, that's a nice three inch or four inch build right there. 